So, have you guys ever thought to yourself in Piggy, man, that really annoys me. Man, why is that like that? Uh, why the heck? That doesn't even make sense. Like, what's going on here? Yeah, so if you've ever been like that to yourself when playing Piggy, then today's video is just for you. So in 10 days video, we are going to be going through 10 annoying things in Piggy. 10 annoying things that trigger me so much that I literally have to make a video on it. And that's pretty much why we're here. <laughs> So before we do get started, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go into the comment section down below, see if you guys can think of 10 things that annoy you in Piggy, and then let me know what they are. By the way, Minitoon, I do love you, you're a great guy, but uh, yeah, today's video is just one of those videos. <laughs> Don't worry, I still love the game. But if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. It is most definitely free, and you can always change your mind later on in the future. Also, if you could be using using star code antics when you're buying robux or premium i would appreciate that a lot but anyway guys it is whatever let's get into 10 annoying things that trigger me in piggy number one the survivor savior ending now, if you guys did not write this down in the comment section before this video did start, I bet you're thinking now, man, I wish I did. So one of the most painful things inside of Piggy is the fact that if you want to change a cutscene in chapter 7, 8 or 9 to like the savior rather than doing the survivor, you literally have to go all the way back to Piggy book 2 chapter 6 replay that chapter out and then change the entire storyline literally manually it's a pain now i do know that minitoon has spoken about adding in a feature where you can literally just toggle the survivor to the savior ending however we still haven't got that minitoon i mean i know the guy's on holiday somewhere probably kicking up his feet enjoying a nice pina colada you know singing in the rain all of us die hard fans right here we're literally struggling right now because we literally have to keep going back to chapter six to then toggle back to the other ending rather than just having a button saying would you like to do the survivor ending or would you like to do the savior ending so i think that that is most definitely one thing that really triggers me inside of piggy one thing that just really gets my blood uh, boiling is that a bit too much i'm not so sure number two ali's doors Okay, so guys, this one's a building one. This one just, it just, I don't know why, it just gets under my skin, okay? So these doors literally right here, yeah, okay, they're doors, I get it, they're doors. But if you literally just go around the corner and look right behind them, there's literally nothing there. Like, at least just, you could have just put nothing, like, you could have put something as a building rather than, like, a weird little alleyway. I mean, again, this sort of thing, it just really gets to me. So yeah, these alleys doors, they do trigger me. They do trigger me a bit every single time. I walk past these when playing alleys, I look at them and I think, man, I hate you. Just put something behind it, Mini Toon, just so that, you know, you don't actually have to look at it behind, like the alley bit. It just shouldn't have an alley bit. Just make it a building. It's, it's not that hard. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't have that one in your comments, eh? <laughs> that one just really gets me. I don't know why, it just does. Number three, the gap in the sewers. Okay, now this is another building one. This one I've brought up a little bit here and there, but guys, it's still there. It still literally stares at me. Every single time I play the sewers, there is that gap in the floor that you can literally just see completely out of the map. It just literally needs that little platform to be moved literally a couple of centimeters, just centimeters. So of course Ikea's did build this map and she's no longer around. She must be also having a pina colada and you know, singing in the rain. <laughs> but it looks as though there was a tiny little building mistake on Ikea's behalf here. But again, this one, it just really triggers me. Number four. Mr. P still broken. Okay, okay, okay. Real talk, real talk, real talk. All right. How long has Mr. P actually been broken inside of Piggy? You still cannot play as Mr. P as an infected character. Still, to this day, it's probably been about nine months by now, and he's still broken. Why? <laughs> 
don't know if there's some issues with fixing him that just literally won't allow Mr. P to actually work, but you know, it's been quite some time since Mr. P has been broken, and he is genuinely still broken inside of Piggy, which again, it still gets under my skin. Number 5. Black Hole Traps Okay, so this one isn't as serious. This one just bugs me, okay? So when you're playing a, a, a map, right, and you, you come across a try-hard piggy character and they have black hole traps, I mean, you have no hope, do you? Let's be honest, no hope. Literally, if you played the station, right, and the player, the piggy, literally puts the black hole trap right next to that plank of wood, you are literally stuffed. You have no chance of getting across that plank of wood because you're always just going to go into the green river and just oof. I do like the idea of the black hole traps. However, I feel like maybe it shouldn't be so strong. Sometimes you're not even anywhere near it and you're literally homing into the trap as if it's like some orbital thing around space. So I'm not saying get rid of black hole traps. I'm not saying I absolutely hate them. They just really bug me when you actually come across a try hard piggy character. Number six, the whiteboard message. Okay, I've brought this up quite a few times and even creators that don't like me even say that I have a good point here. <laughs> You know, I, there is a couple out there that have been like, actually, do you know what? You have a point here, okay? But this whiteboard message that literally appears in the school chapter, that one that is decoded where you have to like move the letters along by seven. This one reads out saying, I feel everything I do. I can't control my actions. I can't help myself. My mind yells for help, but my body does not agree. I wish the world would understand. All right, let's have a little conversation about this one, okay? I can't control my actions. Then how in the world are you writing on a whiteboard or a chalkboard? How are you actually, you know, using your arm and actually writing on a whiteboard when you can't control your actions. This just simply does not make sense. If you can't control your actions, if something is taking over your body, then how in the world are you managing to actually write down an entire sentence paragraph on a chalkboard? It just don't make sense. I'm getting triggered now. <laughs> So do we think that that's a mistake on Minitoon's behalf or do we just think that it's just dumb? I just think that it's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I have literally no idea. I can't control my actions. Although I'm going to write on the on the chalkboard and just literally tell you everything that you know that you need to know. But I can't control my actions. All right, moving on now. I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered. Moving on. Number seven, the gallery balcony. Okay, let's be honest, this map is still unplayable. Every single time you go to play this map, you literally get some noob that literally crawls along the balcony, jumps up onto the stairway, and you cannot get them. This has literally been a thing for over a year now, and this still has not been fixed. I mean, I know what you guys are going to say in the comment section, you did a whole video on all these glitches and, you know, <laughs> you've probably just told everyone how to do it. Yes, correct. I agree with you, but uh, still, it could be fixed. <laughs> So yeah, that one is still a little bit triggering, I'll be honest, because if you are the piggy, again, you literally have absolutely no chance of actually catching the player. They will literally just camp behind that board of wood and you just can't get them. <laughs> so if we could get that one fixed mini tune, I would much appreciate it. Number 8, the helicopter signal. Now, although a few of you guys may say that this has been explained in a page, I'm not so sure. This still triggers me to this day. The reason being is because when we meet up with Zizzy and Pony, nobody mentions to them that Mr. P literally fled in a helicopter. Nobody said any words that Mr. P left myself and Bunny in the hospital. We then rock up to the mall as if we're ready to go to Prada and all Jimmy Ducci, whatever it's called. And then Pony is literally like there and then everyone's like, 
oh, we found a helicopter signal, guys. And it's like, how did you know how to find a helicopter signal? Like, I have no idea why you're looking for a helicopter signal, but uh, sure, thanks. That would probably be Mr. P. The point I'm trying to make here is that nobody actually brought up the fact that there is a helicopter to be looking out for here. But apparently, somehow, Pony was literally searching for a helicopter signal and mysteriously found one, which mysteriously had the main baddie of Piggy inside. Yeah, it triggered me. <laughs> Again, some of you guys may say that this has been explained in a page, and I, I feel like Minitoon has actually seen what I've been saying about this signal. But uh, yeah, one to be discovered still, I think. Number nine, the gallery in Lucella. Okay, so a huge, great, big secret here, guys. One that nobody had found in the middle of alleys. And then, all of a sudden, we find it. It's the gallery. The gallery is literally right next to the alleys. So let's take a look at the gallery. It's not even built properly. It literally could have just copied and pasted the gallery into that chapter. <laughs> So yeah, this is another thing that bugs me is that, you know, you're playing the Alley's chapter and there is this secret, this easter egg that, you know, galleries actually took place right next to the alleys. But if you take a look at the gallery, it's literally just the front of the building. Like, you could have just copied and pasted the map mini tune. <laughs> So again, still that is another thing that really does trigger me inside of Piggy. And number 10, the intercity size. All right, let's be honest here. The size of intercity is redonkulous. I know that we're in a beta. Actually, I think it might even be an alpha, which means even earlier stages. However, it is absolutely humongous. So I do hope that when like Intercity does come out of its beta or alpha stage, that we're actually going to potentially get a few more mobility kind of vehicles that will actually help us get around inside of Intercity a bit more because it does take literally two to three minutes to actually go from the spawn all the way over to i don't know another uh, like location it takes forever again i do know that intercity is in its beta slash alpha stage and that we will be getting the proper game at the end of book two but every time that i do like a top 10 secret or something inside of intercity and i know that i've got to go to intercity i absolutely dread it because i know that it's going to take forever to get the scene that i need but anyway, there we go. That's my top 10 annoying things that trigger me inside of Piggy. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it from us today. But again, if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you hate my content later on down the line, you can always unsubscribe. But anyway, there we go. That is going to be it from us today. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Thank you all for joining. And we'll see you guys in the next one.